Behold, the sun. The big burning ball of gas in the sky. Except that it's not. What? The sun is not on fire, nor is it a gas. For an object to burn, it needs three things. Fuel, a source of ignition, and oxygen. An abundance of oxygen. There's no free oxygen in space, so no fire. Instead, the sun, like all stars, is made up of a highly energized fourth state of matter called plasma. Heating solids causes them to melt into liquids. Heating liquids causes them to evaporate to gases. Heating gases energizes them into the state of a plasma. That's the main difference between gases and plasmas. Plasmas contain ions, electrons, and neutral atoms that produce and are affected by electromagnetic forces. Lightning is a plasma. Most lasers are plasma. Welding arcs and most importantly stars, all stars burn as plasma. All magnets have poles. The Earth, thanks to its molten iron core, is a giant magnet with a north and a south pole. The Sun also has a north and south pole. But unlike the Earth, the Sun's poles switch places completely about every 11 years. This year, 2024, is the end of one of these 11-year solar cycles. As the Sun's poles switch places, its magnetosphere is twisted and fractures, allowing portions of the Sun's material to escape out into space. These prominences are powerful enough to have an effect on us here on Earth, despite the Sun being 93 million miles away. Solar weather has been known to alter communication services, navigation systems, and weather monitoring devices. Fortunately, the Earth's magnetosphere transports most of the sun's approaching escape energy to our poles, resulting in the northern and southern lights. Aurora. Launched in 2018, the Parker Solar Probe monitors solar activity and weather, specifically studying the outer corona of the sun. This Christmas Eve, Parker will make the closest approach to the sun of any object ever, at a distance of 3.8 million miles. The closer we get to the sun, the better we can understand how its energy travels through the universe, the better we can understand how stars provide energy in general, the better we understand an entire another state of matter, plasma. Thanks for watching and keep discovering.